Costco now carries a new Revlon One Set Voluminizer Plus. You may be wondering to yourself, should I buy it? Or if you have the original one, should you upgrade to the Plus version? I've been using this for about a month now, and in this video, we're gonna compare the new model versus the old model by using the old model on one side of my hair and the Plus version on the other side. I will share with you my honest opinion and tell you the clear winner so that you can decide for yourself if the new model is worth buying. Bought this at Costco for $40. It's usually $50 at your local warehouse, but I found that other retailers such as Ulta, they sell the exact same version for $74.99. So you're definitely getting such a good deal at Costco. People on Costco.com rated this 4.3 stars. A lot of people love the way their hair looked after using it. They felt that it was smoother, shiny, Shinier, but a lot of people dislike that it has a large brush head. I'm gonna take a minute and talk about the original Revlon One Step Voluminizer. I've been using this for about a year now, and the one thing I really loved about this is that it helped to smooth out my hair, straight out my hair without losing a lot of volume, and I love that. What I didn't like about it is that it is bulky and it can get super hot, and there's only two settings, so it's you either do the low or high setting, and so I would always use the low setting, and because I use the low setting, it would take a long time to dry and style my hair. If you did the high setting, it gets super, super hot. I also didn't love the the bristles. I felt like my hair would get caught and would just cause a lot of breakage. And also, I felt like it didn't give me a fully frizz free look. I did do a separate video on this, so if you're interested in watching that video, click the link right here. Let's compare the new and old model. As you can see, they still both have the oval brush head, but the original is larger and it has a true oval shape, while the newer version has a rounded edge. And because it has a rounded edge, it's just gonna give you more definition, allow you to have the softer but well-defined curls or waves through your hair. The original is made with a ceramic coating, while the newer one has a ceramic titanium coating. And I think that makes a huge difference because it allows your hair to just glide smoothly when you're using this product, and it also gives you a better shine and finish. The handle on the original version is much wider and it starts to curve out right at the half halfway point of the handle. So when you're holding it, it feels really bulky. The new version is a lot slimmer. As you can see, it goes straight down, it's sleeker, and it goes straight down almost three quarters of the way. So it allows your hand to have a really good grip, it's just easier to hold and easier to use. The newer version is definitely lighter. It's not like a huge difference, but you can notice that it is lighter. And I think if you're styling your hair and you're using this to smooth out and blow out your hair, it will make a huge difference. Another cool feature about the new version is that it now has three different heat settings. So you can pick high, medium, or low. You can actually remove the brush head and it's actually super easy to do. You just click down here and twist it and boom. And what I love about this is now that you can remove the brush head, you can actually travel with it. It's easier to store. And hopefully Revlon can create different brush heads to attach to this uh, portion so that you can do a lot more hairstyles with this. Before we get to the real test, the hair test, let's do a heat and sound test comparison. This is low, medium, and high. It's pretty loud. Let's go back to the original brush. Low setting, the high setting. It's still pretty loud, not a huge difference. I would say it's about the same. Yeah, that's very hot. It's crazy how it jumps from low to high. The difference is pretty noticeable. The medium setting on this version is about the same as the high setting of the old. Ooh. It gets super, super hot. Definitely a lot hotter than the old one. So let's get started for what you've all been waiting for, which is the hair test. I'm gonna start off using the original version on the right side of my hair. I'm also gonna time it so we can actually see how long it takes me to style and dry my hair using the low setting of the original version. Let's do this. I 
am done styling one side of my hair with the original Revlon One Step Voluminizer. It took me six minutes and 41 seconds. I will say that this is just bulky. It's a little bit cumbersome when I'm using it. Just, it just also feels like it's constantly pulling at my hair and I can feel it like kind of breaking. It's hard to get like that nice defined wave. The overall look still looks really nice. My hair looks nice and smooth, has a lot of volume. It definitely looks like a blowout that you would get at the salon. Before we do the other side, if you're enjoying this video so far, give our video a like because it helps our channel out a lot. Now it's time to style this side of my hair using the new Revlon Voluminizer Plus. Just finished styling this side of my hair using the new Revlon One Step Voluminizer Plus. It took me five minutes and 51 seconds. So it's slightly faster than the older version. I just really like the experience with the newer version. I feel like my hair just like glides on and off the brush so smoothly. And because it has a smaller head brush, it allows me to create these like bouncier like curls at the end or like these bouncier waves wrap my hair and honestly I just feel like this side of my hair looks a lot smoother and shinier compared to this one. This one kind of looks a little dry. I don't know if you can tell from the camera but it definitely looks a lot drier in person like this one looks a lot sleeker um, and I just love that little bounce and a little like waves and how it curls in um, at the ends here. What do you guys think? Let me know which side you think looks better, the original or the newer version. If you're still here, I wanna share a bonus tip with you. If you are using any of these voluminizer brushes, it is important to know that you should not be using this when your hair is fully wet. Do not style your hair if you just stepped out of the shower. You want your hair to at least air dry to the point where your hair is 75 to 80% dry. That is the best way for you to achieve this type of style without damaging your hair. So the clear winner is, the Revlon One Step Voluminizer Plus. I just love this. I love how light it is, how easy it is to use. The rounded brush allows me to add these like soft wave curls throughout my hair. My hair is shinier at the end. It's travel friendly. It's easier to store away. And it's just overall, I think, the better brush. Should you buy this if you already have the original? I think it's worth upgrading if you're bothered by how bulky it is and like the weight. I found myself using this less and less because it was heavy it was cumbersome and you were also very limited with the amount with the heat settings and so I felt like this took so much longer to style my hair so if that's how you feel or if you have like shorter to medium length hair I would definitely upgrade to the newer version the reason I would recommend keeping the old version is that if you have like really long hair if your hair is longer this is um, much better for you because the bigger brush head will allow you to style your hair a lot faster. And if you're not very particular about like adding any soft waves or curls to your hair and you just want like a simple blowout, honestly, it still does a really nice job. The end result is still pretty nice. So if that's the case, if you have long hair and you just want a simple blowout, definitely keep the original. But if you don't have one, then definitely pick up the new version. This is just an overall better brush because it just gives you options to like style your hair a little bit better. Because it is lighter and easier to use, I'm telling you, I use this so much more than my original one and I always love the way my hair looks after using it. If you live that crazy Costco life, make sure you subscribe to our channel and watch our next video right over here.